Welcome to this week's Lux Today, which is a special webcast on Li-Fi, the transmission of data using lighting. We can reveal today that tech giant Apple is set to include Li-Fi capability in future versions of the iPhone. And we speak to the godfather of Li-Fi, Professor Harold Haas, about the adoption of the technology. That's coming up, so stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for February 9th. I'm Courtney Ferguson. Apple looks set to include a Li-Fi capability in future versions of the iPhone, meaning it can access high-speed data using lighting. The backing of a tech giant like Apple would transform the technology from scientific curiosity into a mainstream technique for accessing the internet and provide a huge boost to the lighting industry. The iPhone's operating system now openly references Li-Fi capability in its programming code. Li-Fi uses modulated visible light from LEDs to transmit data to enabled devices. It's invisible to the human eye and is much faster than traditional Wi-Fi. Apple already holds a patent on using its camera to capture data as well as images, so the company is well placed to exploit the new technology. One of the leading developers of Li-Fi is a company called Pure Li-Fi, which was founded by Professor Harold Haas, the so-called godfather of the technology. I caught up with him at the Lux Live exhibition in London and asked him to explain to me what Li-Fi is and how it works. We all know Wi-Fi, yeah? Wi-Fi uses radio to transmit data at wireless, uh, very high speeds. Now imagine the same functionality, data transmission, but not using radio, but using the lights using the LED lights around us, transmitting gigabits of data wirelessly using our ambient light. That's, that's, that's basically Li-Fi. That's incredible. So it's sort of like how a remote control would work, right? It is it's like your Wi-Fi router. So you have your Wi-Fi device, you take it out and you connect to the internet. Now let's take your, so your device out, your, your mobile phone, but it connects to the light instead of the radio and the light transmits the data then to the internet. So it's really, the communication is via the lights and uh, we turn LED lights into Wi-Fi or type high-speed transmitters. That's extremely interesting. So where do you see you know, the, the lighting industry five years from now? So uh, what I see is at the moment there are two industries. There's the wireless industry and there's the, uh, the lighting industry. So the lighting industry goes through a massive change at the moment with the LED lights, which lasts uh, 20 years, 30 years. So the old business model of uh, selling incandescent light bulbs every six months to customers, that ceases to exist. So it's a little bit like the, uh, the analog photography when it changed to digital photography, when suddenly companies disappeared from the, from the ground, if I, if I may say that. So we see a similar change in the lighting industry with a long lifetime of LEDs. So uh, now what, imagine that you add value to a light by bringing in communication functionality. So your light suddenly connects to your smartphone, it connects to your kettle, it connects to your oven, to your fridge. So the lights become communication devices enabling the Internet of Things, enabling the smart environments, smart building controls, and you save a lot of money because the IT wiring infrastructure and the, uh, the lighting infrastructures become one to bring the data to the lights. So in the future, I will see the lighting industry moving into the wireless communications domain and taking sort of market shares from that, from that industry. And this is where I think the lighting industry will grow in the future and developing new business models in, 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 the, in the communications, yes. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So what do you see as the killer apps for Li-Fi? Uh, there's, there's many killer apps. So we have uh, at the moment, uh, Communication is basically via human to human uh, with the with the smartphone, social media. Now, um, in the future, we will have the Internet of Things, machine to machine communication, and uh, we have by 2020 roughly about 26 billion wirelessly connected devices, and we don't simply have the radio spectrum to fulfill all these needs that will created by the 
various devices, so we need additional resources and uh, the light spectrum is uh, 10,000 times larger than 30 gigahertz of radio spectrum, so it opens up a big sea, a big sea of additional uh, resources that we can, we can use, so that the, the killer application will come through the emergence of the Internet of Things, to the, uh, the video streaming, the video internet, uh, TV being replaced by uh, internet TV streaming and so on. So all these data hungry applications, they will demand wireless connectivity and that is where Li-Fi is. And we don't need extra infrastructure. We use existing infrastructure, replace the lights by LED lights that are Li-Fi enabled and that's where we are. That's all from us at Lux today, but remember you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day at luxreview.com. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.